Get your dude. Get her, baby. Woo! The Clinton Township Police Department remains dedicated to its members and to the community. We are mindful of our public image and take every opportunity to build trust. He had to have his eye removed after a struggle with a Clinton Township police officer. Now he's demanding justice through his attorney, and we spoke with that attorney. I'm a teacher, dude. Yeah, baby. Woo! It's just some of what becomes an intense struggle between a Clinton Township police officer and a man named Daniel Reef. The body cam footage now the subject of a lawsuit alleging unwarranted excessive force. Get out of your stomach now! Get out of your stomach now! Daniel had done nothing wrong whatsoever. Attorney Jonathan Marco's firm filing the suit. He literally had gotten off the bus and was walking to his friend's house when he was suddenly stopped by a police officer with Clinton Township. Marco says the officer punched Daniel in the face, causing a bone fracture in two places. He says Daniel was unarmed. He's blind now for the rest of his life. He has a glass eye. Uh, he has permanent vision loss in, in that eye. They had to take his eyeball out. Please, God help me out. Please, please, I can't breathe. The incident took place in April of 2021. Marco says someone called police to report two suspicious people cutting through a backyard. Only he says his client had nothing to do with it. So the police were looking for these two guys who had cut through a backyard. Daniel, one guy, did not cut through a backyard, was simply getting off a bus and going to his friend's house. The video does show Daniel running from police. Marco says there's a good reason for that. He becomes scared. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know why he's suddenly being stopped and asked to come over here. He didn't do anything wrong. He becomes frightened and he runs. Marco says Daniel will never be the same. Kind of, I guess I call it a case of mistaken identity of an innocent person has changed and impaired his life forever. We reached out to Clinton Township Police for a comment. We wanted to get their side of the story. We haven't heard back yet. We will let you know when we do. Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News.